Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm doing a bit of a reaction night here tonight. My wife's gone out to the city to have some drinks with her friends for Christmas and I'm here all on my own doing reactions. So one of the things I'm catching up on today is the Berserk openings. Now I bought the manga, so I've got the big special edition omnibuses. I think they're three in one, but they're huge and they've got like a black leather bounding and they're sick and I can't wait to dive into them. And I know there's a, a couple of anime series out as well. Um, the ones I'm checking out now, the openings, are the ones I think are good. And it was a couple that weren't so good. But for the moment, I think I'm just going to stick with the manga. But I'm very curious about the openings to these two series. So I've got a 2016 one and a 2017 one to check out. So, so once again, thank you to whoever suggested I check these out. I can't remember who it was. There's, there's been a lot of requests. But um, let's dive in and have a look, yeah? Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Is the fairy Puck? I know the guy's name is Guts, but I have no real context to who is who, is who yet. Guts with a big ass sword. So the anime follows just like a certain arc from the manga. And the manga's still ongoing too, right? From what I know. And I'm hoping this is going to spoil too much for me. It's fairly abstract at the moment. I'm liking the animation. It looks good. There's a bit of blood. Slaying demons and monsters and people. The song's cool. Big ass monsters. Cool. Okay, so I feel like that didn't really give too much away, which is good because I want to go into the manga unspoiled. But what can you tell me about the, the anime and what do you think I should watch if I decide to get into it? Like the 2016 opening there and the 2017 one I'm about to check out is from the same series, right? It's just season one and season two. Let me know in the comments because I have no clue. I like the music. It had a bit of a like a heavy metal thread to it. And the animation looked decent, but what I've seen of the, the manga so far, and I've taken a sneak peek inside the book, is incredible. Like, the artwork is just like... Oh. So I don't think that translates to the anime so much, I think, from what I've seen so far of it. Okay, so let's check out the 2017 opening for Berserk. Alright, ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Proclaimed Omens. Once again, I don't think I'm going to pick up on any spoilers. Puck. Yeah. From the William Shakespeare A Midsummer Night's Dream. The song's got the heavier edge to it again. People I don't know. Puck. No, not Puck. I mean Guts with his big sword. So we've got fairies and little witches. This was like a Final Fantasy game. Monsters, blood, bit of action. Thought she was dancing. She's running. Or is she dancing? So I don't know who all these characters are. Only, I only know Guts. That's the only character I know. And Park, I think. How long has Berserk been around for? Because I'm definitely feeling a Final Fantasy 7 vibe. Like it was inspired some way in the character designs. Cool. Makes me curious about watching the show though. 
a lot of requests to um to actually do that but i think i want to read the manga first i know doing a, a reaction channel you want to kind of dive into these shows these animes and be surprised and delighted by what you see and not having it spoiled by the manga beforehand but the berserk manga these editions i'm buying are just absolutely gorgeous they're, they're so sublime I, I just can't wait to crack one open and dive in so i'm currently reading vinland saga I've nearly finished that so hopefully i'll get a review for that up for you guys fairly soon but um berserk just it gets so much praise so is the anime worth checking out let me know in the comments down below and i'll catch you all in the next one thanks for watching